What's good, Lunatics? You are looking at the rarest Nintendo Switch console ever sold. This right here is the Thunderbolt Project Nintendo Switch. It was released in the Shibuya Parko store in Japan. It's a collaboration between the design company named Fragment and the Pokemon Company. This isn't the first time that they've collaborated. Fragment has made a number of designer Thunderbolt Project products. We're talking from tees to hoodies to jackets to plushies to hats to bags and, and a whole lot more. And it's all like official product too. It's not like some third party off branded stuff. This is stuff that is licensed by the Pokemon company. And when they dropped this Thunderbolt Project Nintendo Switch, it was being sold for about 39,800 yen, which translates to about 370 US dollars. That's not too bad considering it comes with a case for your Switch. So you're really only paying like a $50 premium for the Fragment name. But if you weren't able to snag one of these bundles when they originally released, I'm sorry to tell you, that the price has shot up over five times that. eBay, for example, have it for about $2,000 and the chances of it being reproduced are pretty much slim to none. So the question is, how the hell did I get my hands on it? I've, I've never been to Japan. Basically, I was eyeing this thing like a hawk the minute that I heard about it. And when it released, I was able to buy it from a reseller super early before prices got all out of hand and whatnot. All in all, I think I paid about $550 for it, which is, I think is pretty great considering that it had to be shipped from Japan to the US, but $2,000 it's a little crazy right now. Now, I know there's gonna be like one smart ass in the comments section like, this isn't the rarest Nintendo Switch console ever. The rarest Nintendo Switch ever is the Nintendo Labo Switch. You don't know what you're talking about. Only five people in the world ever got one, you dummy. Dislike, unsub, you're an idiot. Now, facts are facts. The Nintendo Labo Switch is like the holy grail of Nintendo Switch consoles and Joy-Con. But that was a competition prize, and that only went out to a handful of people. And trust me, I've reached out to some of those handful of people willing to pay a pretty penny for their console. And, and, and if you happen to know anyone that has it, have them hit me up and, and we, we can talk money. But since that version of the console has never been sold, that makes this Thunderbolt Project Switch the king of consoles you could have bought but you didn't. Also, I have to give an honorable mention to the elusive dev version of the Nintendo Switch, which is only available to game developers and comes with some sexy all black Joy-Con. This is available to purchase, but only to those who have been approved as developers for Nintendo Switch, since this is a version of the console that more and more people can continue to buy for a foreseeable future and is limited to only to a specific subset of people, you know, developers. It really can't be the rarest if you're still producing them and, and giving them to people. That's that's just my opinion. Let me know if you think differently in the comments down below. All that being said, I think it's about time to get inside this box and check out what's inside. <laughs> and of course, if you appreciate me sharing this with you, make sure to smack the hell out of that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm, helps this video surface to more people so that they can see it. And I'll smack the hell out of your like button as well when you leave a comment in the comment section down below. So, bang, here it is. We've got ourselves the Thunderbolt Project Nintendo Switch console. As you can see, super simple design here, straight up black. So at the top, it just says Nintendo. Sides are completely blank. On the back here, you can see it says Thunderbolt Project by Fragment of Pokemon. It has the little Pikachu symbol. It looks like he's farting a, a Thunderbolt. And it says on the bottom, this is part of the Thunderbolt Project by Fragment and Pokemon under the creative direction and design of Fragment. Each product is uniquely designed for this series. And on the bottom here, you can see a bunch of information about what's inside the box and some legal information as well, all in Japanese. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Bang. So on the bottom, when you open up the flap, you can see more information about how to set up your Nintendo Switch. And front and center, we've got the console and the Joy-Con. Let's go ahead and check out this console first. All right. So at first glance, it doesn't look much different from the standard gray Nintendo Switch, but it's actually not the same as the standard gray Nintendo Switch. Here is my standard gray Nintendo Switch. Check that out. And as you can see, the console itself on the standard gray Nintendo Switch is actually a black console, but the Thunderbolt Project Switch is actually a lighter shade of gray. It's not really this dark gray slash black console that we're used to. So if you own this console, you own more than just a standard Nintendo Switch that says Thunderbolt project by Fragment and Pokemon on the back, which thankfully is the case because otherwise 
They'd be like, well, why, why, why? Next, let's check out these Joy-Con. As many of you know, I am an avid Joy-Con collector. I have to have every single Joy-Con I can get my hands on. And as you can see, these appear to be gray Joy-Con, one that has a little Thunderbolt logo, and the other one that has the farting Pikachu, and not really much else going on here outside of that. Compare that to the standard gray Joy-Con, and they're pretty much the same exact shade. They appear to be standard gray Joy-Con with just little icons on them, which really isn't that exciting, honestly. Check them out on the Switch itself. Check out the back. It's definitely a different look than the standard Nintendo Switch. You can see it right away when you compare the two. You're looking at a lighter gray Nintendo Switch with great Joy-Con versus a black Nintendo Switch with great Joy-Con. And that is a, a good thing in my opinion. You are getting something that is unique. But that's not it. There's more inside this box as well. Lift up this little piece here and you can see right away. Here is the case. This is the Thunderbolt Project by Fragment and Pokemon Case. You can see it's got the farting Pikachu, little Nintendo Switch logo on the side. On the back says Thunderbolt Project by Fragment and Pokemon. And it is an official Nintendo Switch case. Open it up as we can see. It's got the slots for the games, five different games and a little net pocket here. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Dig a little deeper. You also got yourself a screen protector for your Nintendo Switch and a paper with some more information here about how to apply the screen protector. But wait, there's more. Lift up this little portion here and you got some more information. You got your standard HDMI cable and AC adapter, no special designs going on here. You've also got a couple of standard black Joy-Con straps. You of course got the Joy-Con grip as well, which is a standard Joy-Con grip. Nothing special going on here either. And then of course you've got the dock. As you can see, it says Thunderbolt Project by Fragment and Pokemon, Nintendo Switch logo, Nintendo Switch, and the little Thunderbolt signs. And as I said, this is an official version of the Nintendo Switch. This isn't some third-party company silk screening on some designs. This is an actual licensed version of the Nintendo Switch that was only available in one little store in Japan and sold out pretty daggone fast. Do I feel people need this version of the Nintendo Switch in their collection? Not really, it's kind of just like a glorified gray Nintendo Switch but as a collector of like every Joy-Con known to man I felt like I had to have this in my collection I wanted it I wanted to make sure I got it at a decent price I will be keeping this in my collection forever I know it's worth about two thousand dollars right now which could obviously pay my rent and a few bills right now <laughs> but I'm gonna just hold on to it and hopefully won't be in a position where I have to sell it and need that money see because I just really wanted the Joy-Con normally what I would do is I would, I would sell everything else and just keep the Joy-Con but because of like the rarity and the exclusivity of this version of the Nintendo Switch. I feel like I, I just got to keep it in my collection. But don't get me wrong, I am not opposed uh, to selling some of my games and consoles and whatnot. And if you ever want to see what stuff I, I put on sale, I use this app called Mercari. In my opinion, it's, it's a little bit better than eBay. You know right away how much you're getting for what you're trying to sell versus eBay, which doesn't really tell you up front. And then they want to charge you at a later time for their fees. Mercari up front, they, they show you what their fees are. They take their fees when you sell and you know exactly what you're getting with the app. I've sold, I think over like $6,000 worth of products on Mercari. So this ain't me just shilling it. I use the app, I use it constantly. So I'll leave a link to my store on Mercari down below. If you've never used Mercari before, I do have a link as well for a free $10 credit that you can pretty much use towards anything on Mercari. So you can like easily get yourself like a free game with that credit. Use that to purchase something on Mercari, even if it's not from my store in particular. Yeah, links to all of that is down in the description below. Also gotta say in a sense, this this version of the Nintendo Switch console, this, this exclusive branded designer version of the Nintendo Switch, it really is, in my opinion, like the supreme version of a Nintendo Switch. It doesn't really mean much in the scope of things. You're just basically paying for that brand's name on your product. But if that brand means a lot to you, if you value that brand, then obviously go for it. Like if they create a Supreme version of the Nintendo Switch, I'm gonna go out my way to try to get that. Definitely let me know what you guys think. Would you buy something like this? I'm a fan of exclusive consoles, limited edition consoles, but I like limited edition consoles that actually do something. Like I really, really love the Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch. I also have that and that's going to be permanently in my collection. And if you want to see some of the other exclusive consoles I've unboxed, definitely check out one of these videos next to me. Go ahead and watch some more. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe as well. Oh yeah. And remember to stay crazy. Uh -oh.
Thank you.